Well, thanks guys for sitting down and talking with me. So we're in year three, 26 games under each of your belts. I know you all probably have plenty of goals that's on the list for this upcoming season, but Dana, I wanna start with you. I know this summer you put on some weight. Um, would you wanna talk about that and like how that's gonna help you going into the season? Oh yeah, so I put on, uh, before camp started, I was around like 15 pounds from the off season, but about like 30 since my freshman year. So um, definitely it's gonna help me play a lot more physical. So, you know, being physical at the catch point and also physical like with the blocking, you know, just to, to be an all around receiver. Yeah, and then Barion, you've been listed on the Paul Horning mm -hmm. preseason watch list. And that's for like one of the most versatile college football players. Does that add some extra juice going into the season knowing that people are watching you for that? Um, yeah, I say a little bit just, um, you know, telling me keep going, keep putting my foot on the gas, um, don't let up. So always thankful for the award, but trying to win it now. Right. And so offense in general. So year three, you've had Will Levis as your first quarterback, Devin Leary last year. You have a new quarterback situation this season, but you guys have been one of the constants in the offense. Um, it's been a lot just for the fact that, you know, you, we've had to learn so much, but at the end of the day, I like to look at it as it's all the same. It's just a lot of different terminology. So, you know, but it also helps us become smarter football players because it, it just allows us to hear from three different minds and also see three different quarterbacks just to learn from what they've seen in the past. And now that just helps us be smarter football players. Yeah, just going off with Dane. So I feel like um, getting us ready for the next level, honestly, um, I feel like that's always a plus coming out of college having to know three different playbooks. Um, I mean, if you love football, man, it's always good just to learn something new, just to see if your body and mind can take it. So it's been, been a blessing to me, honestly, I like it. Yeah, and then speaking of that, you know, three different offensive coordinators, three different playbooks, three different philosophies that they all come with. Is there, I guess, anything that you're taking from each of them that you're implementing into this season? Let me go first. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would just say, I would just say, you know, um, I definitely took a lot from all three of them because there's all, there's so much football in the world. So, you know, you can hear one thing from one coach and then you can bring it over to a new coach and you can have that perspective and you can tell that to the new coach and maybe that's something he learned for the first time. So then, like I said, it's just so much football to go around that you can learn, you know, just be a constant learner, a lifetime learner. So, you know, just hearing that from three different coaches and just allowing you to grow from that just helps, helps me personally become, you know, just smarter. Yeah. Agree with Dane. He couldn't say it in any better. <laughs> and then with the new offensive coordinator with Bush, you also have a new wide receivers coach, Coach Shorts. How has that been learning from someone who's been in the NFL? Man, I love Coach Shorts. <laughs> um, coach Shorts got here day one and um, immediately had a plan for all of us. And um, he just wanted us to be the best person we can be on and off the field and um, stays on us, make sure we're doing everything right, correct us when we're wrong. Just being a great figure for, for us and the younger guy. Yeah, I would agree with Brian. You know, I love Coach Shorts. It's been, you know, it's been a short relationship, but I really, you know, but. <laughs> short? Yeah. <laughs> but I really, I, I do love Coach Shorts. Um, I trust him with everything. Um, I think the first day he came into the meeting room, he probably uh, punched all of us in the chest, to, you know, just to set yeah. the tone. But, you know, that's just something we needed, but it's also something we really enjoy because we know, we know from that moment forward, it was going to be him, him with the foot on the gas and he's not going to let up on us. Yeah. yeah. And then, you know, you all added some pieces with Fred, Jamori, and then even Hardly Gilmore being a freshman. Just what are you all seeing out of your all's group so far? Dynamic. Yeah, um, just seeing a, a bunch of guys buying in. And um, like I said, I take culture from Dane, he'll take it from me, we'll take culture from AB. It ain't just because we're the older guys, we don't feel like we can't take culture no more um, lessons. So, you know, just when everybody's buying in, everybody's on the same page, and we all know what we want to get to at the end of the day. Yeah, I agree with Barry. Everybody's just taking coaching from everybody. He, AB might see one thing on the field that Barry on saw differently. So we'll just come together as a group. And, you know, we all just love being around each other. So a really close room. Is that anything that you guys as the older you all along with Anthony talked about? Or is that just something that you all took on yourselves as like, we're going to help lead the group? Yeah, I feel like that's just something that's Everybody wants the best for one, um, one another. I want to see Dane win. Dane want to see me, me, me win. We want to see Harlan win. And in order to do that, if I'm doing something wrong, they should be able to call me out and I should be able to take it. So um, just knowing that's the type of room we have that's always good. You know, I, don't, I didn't see us 
you know, really make that like a point of emphasis in our room. I just feel like we're all so close and like Barry said, we all just want to see each other win. So I think it just happened naturally. Yeah. And then how are you guys translating that with the quarterback situation? Yeah, I will. Uh, I, think, I think that also plays a part with the quarterback room because like we don't watch film as a receiver room. We watch it as a whole offense. So like it's an open, I, I feel like it's an open mouth like policy in the in the film room like if if like we say see something and like we want to say it like I feel like there's open opportunity for us to say it and there won't be no punishment and and then coach will either agree with us or disagree with us and tell us why it's supposed to be done that way but if if we saw it that way and he he agrees then you know he'll he'll uh he'll be a little lenient to us and let us you know you know let it let it be that way yeah, agree. Um, me and Gavin live kind of close to each other, so we top things up about football all the time. Uh, go outside, throw a little bit, just to be on the same page. Um, go over the script together. So it, yeah, it's always good to have a great connection with your quarterbacks too, man. Yeah, just help a little bit. You know, you're out there yeah. trying to get those deep balls. Yeah, on the same page. <laughs> that, that's a lot. Yeah, and then now the other side of the ball, Brad White's defense. What are we seeing out of them? Honestly, I feel like he always get the defense ready. They they can they come prepared every every day every year. Honestly, um, but seeing seeing some of the guys that we came with stepping up like Alex, um, Alex doing good. Of course, Max and them doing great. Dion coming along. So, you know, just knowing when we got the ball in the end zone, we can get it back and put it in the end zone again because the defense gonna get us a stop is always good. Yeah, I feel like just going against our defense, you know, I feel like our defense, especially, I think they listed our secondary as one of the best in the country this year. So, you know, I just feel like that helps us because we go against the best secondary in the country every day. So that's just going to help us get better each and every day. Yeah, Coach Stoops mentioned a point of emphasis for the cornerbacks was for them to become more sticky. Mm -hmm. um, have you all noticed that in Maxwell's growth Lord, or anyone yeah. else? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, I, I feel like it's just competitive out there every day. Um, they come ready to play, and then we're gonna bring it every day. We so so they see us bring it, we see them bring it. Now it's just now it's just competition. Yeah, yeah it does get sticky because they they like the whole. <laughs> but we don't get to say too much about that. And then obviously Maxwell's name comes up every time we're talking about defense. But is there anyone else that you all see that's standing out right now? I can't I can't point one person out on yeah, that defense. Just I feel I feel like everybody's just like they all play together and they're all just they're all around the ball at all yeah. times and they're all gonna make a play when if it if it's one on one against a safety, my sa our safety's beating them. Yeah. If it's one on one against our D line against somebody else's O line, I got beating faith them. in our D line. It, linebackers, you know, every every position on our defense is just Agreed. they're they're balling. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah, in your all's class, you spoke about it a little bit, Dion, Maxwell, everyone in the junior class is just really strong. Could you just talk about like Having that core and you guys sticking together through all of it. I mean, I just feel like they wanted as freshmen when we got here. We all knew what we wanted to do and what we had to do to get there. So, um, just like again, buying in every day, hitting the weight room. Um, if you want to gain weight, gaining weight, maintaining your body, staying in the treatment room, um, just doing all the things we need to do. Um, Cat is coming along. So, just I love the group that we that I was brought in here with. Yeah. Um, like I said, I just feel like I think this is one of the closest teams I've been a part of at Kentucky. Agreed. And I think it was just, you know, we did a lot of team building with each other in the uh, in the offseason. And I really feel like that helped us a lot. Yeah. And then so I have to ask, how excited are you guys to play under those lights? in <laughs> Man, I can't wait. <laughs> feel like it's so far away, but it's so close. So, you know, just count the days down, trying to stay, keep my composure. Mm -hmm. but. Saturday come man, I'll be acting crazy. <laughs> and I'm super, I'm super excited to see those lights. You know, um, this might be a unpopular opinion, but I'm not, I'm not too big of a, uh, you know, it's a party song. So, but I think, I think the, uh, I yeah. think the lights will get me really excited. But I don't know how the song will. Go. <laughs> With it, I'm maybe though. Yeah, yeah, I think, we, I think we, I've heard too need, much Yeah, of the we song. need another like get, get, another get song. song. Yeah. Is there a song that you guys have in mind that you would like to? Mm. Not really. Just not yet. I'm tired. We need some yeah, new tired. generation. It's a, it's a party. Yeah. Get something yeah. else going. Yeah. Okay, maybe we'll. Walk at the Georgia game. So, so I don't know like, why we still support. Yeah. Them. <laughs> real, real Find somebody ball. else yeah. to come to yeah. the games. Yeah. Fair, fair. And then, um, so I have to ask, who's going to be the first to get to a thousand yards? 
Dang. I don't know. It's I think I think I think it'll be a fun competitive race. Yeah. I think I don't think well, I think we both can do it. I think Me too. I think everybody in the room can do it, but I think but I do think it'll be a, a competitive fun race, but mm -hmm. I think we'll both do it and I don't think whoever whoever gets it first the next, the one who gets it, the opposite is gonna say your turn. Yep. I think that's okay. all it's it'll like be. That. Okay. It's brotherhood, real brotherhood, right? Gotta Literally. Be. Gotta be. <laughs> Anything else, Keith, that I might not have asked? No, all good. Hey. That was good. Thanks, guys. Oh, thank you. Of <laughs>